I'm Megan Pate from Lawrenceville, Georgia, and we had a great time on the river today. The water was crystal clear and beautiful, nice and cool, not too cold, and fortunately we didn't see any alligators. Well, is this your first time on Paddle Georgia? This is my third year. Well, good. You're an old experienced team. What did you like most about today? Um, not having to paddle across a lake. That's a very good point. Okay, we're down here at pit stop on Paddle Georgia, day six, and we got some native freshwater mussels here. A couple of uh, slab shells. It's the Altamaha slab shell, and we got what is known as the Altamaha elephant ear. And it superficially looks like an elephant's ear. A lot of mussels got their name based on what they look like. This is the Altamaha pocketbook because it's really inflated fat. In this group you can actually tell the difference between males and females. The female, this corner, sticks way down here and the male, this would be a lot more tapered so this is actually a female. And it's the uh, same genus as this guy. This is the Raid Pink Fat Mucket. Um, it's one of the few down here that's got stripes on it. Most of the ones in the Altamaha are kind of plain brown and they can be hard to tell apart. Here's a dead one, but you see how they can be really pretty uh, on this inside nacre. Purplish to salmon to pure white. There are probably about 20 species in this river system. And this is what, four or five. They're not doing that well in the Oconee because the substrate's so shifty sand. They need something they can really dig into it out in the creek they're, they're actually down something like that and if it's that kind of rolling sand then they just tumble along and wouldn't wouldn't be able to stay in good habitat they don't have a foot or something they, they do stick have a foot out that sticks out but again if it's not if it's too loose it doesn't matter and a lot of these guys are long lived 40 50 years some up to 80 some species live that long why are we so concerned with muscle health and population? It's kind of the uh, one of the first things to go. So you know if they're not around, then something's wrong with water quality, whether it's habitat or contaminants. Because they're sitting there, you know, siphoning water in. So whatever's in the water, they're taking Hi. it in. My name's Tom. I just I came down the Oconee River with Paddle, Georgia. You look We, we just good. passed Milledgeville, Georgia, on our way to East Dublin. <laughs> <laughs> and he's delighted about it. And I'm just ecstatic. Yes. It's been wonderful. We've cleaned up the entire river. We're now see Georgia because it is so scenic. <laughs> and people are getting mad because there's not enough trash anymore to clean up. I know. I was I was humiliated. I only got a half a bag. <laughs> oh, Uncle Tom. I'm waiting on the big boat to come in that has 17 tires on it.